Hi guys, tonight I've decided to read you a story with all the drama from independence and everything that has been going on. I haven't had time to read a story for a while, but I got ready for bed and then I thought, hmm, I'll read you a story today. And it's a spooky one. It's called The White Witch of Rose Hall. Annie Palmer was an English woman. She lived in the time of slavery on a big plantation called Rose Hall near Montego Bay. There are many different stories about Annie Palmer. We do not know if all of them are true, but they all tell us that she was a very wicked woman. She was called the White Witch of Rose Hall. Here is one of the stories. When Annie was a young girl, she was very beautiful. A rich English planter named John Palmer took her for his wife, and they went to live in his great house at Rose Hall. At that time, Rose Hall was one of the richest and most beautiful great houses in Jamaica. The master had a lot of money, and he liked to spend it on nice things, and on big parties and dances. John Palmer thought he was very lucky, because he had everything he wanted, he had a large plantation with many slaves. He had a beautiful great house and he had a lovely young wife. But he was not lucky. Annie Palmer was beautiful, but she was a selfish and cruel woman. After a time, she got tired of her life with John Palmer. She made up her mind to get rid of him. Every night, John Palmer had a drink after his dinner. One night after his drink, he suddenly had a strange sick feeling. He called for his wife and begged her to help him. She knew he would die because she had put poison in his drink. Annie Palmer watched him die and then she laughed. The other English planters did not know how John Palmer died. Annie pretended to be very sad and she told them that he died from fever. They believed her. Many people died from fever in those days. Only the slaves knew what had happened in the great house. They knew that John Palmer had died from poison, but they were afraid to tell anybody. After that, Annie Palmer lived alone in Rose Hall. She used to bring different men to come and spend time with her. Some of them were slaves. Others were Englishmen who came to work on the plantation. But she got tired of them all. Sometimes when she got tired of them, she played cruel tricks on them. She even poisoned some of them. She always said they died of fever. The slaves who knew the truth could not do anything. They were afraid of Annie Palmer because she was so cruel to them. She had prisons under the house where she beat them. Sometimes she beat them till they died. No other slave master was as cruel as she was. But that was not the only thing that frightened the slaves. They believed that she could work magic and send doppies to frighten people. Annie Palmer used to ride around her plantation at nights. Because of this, the slaves said it was dangerous to go out at night. Some slaves said they saw terrible things after she had been riding by. They saw duppies and strange, ugly devils. They were afraid even to talk about the things they saw. The slaves would hide in their houses at nights when they heard Annie Palmer coming. They said she was dangerous and they called her a witch and a devil. Then one day, a new Englishman came to work on the plantation. Annie Palmer fell in love with him, but he did not love her. She did everything she could to make him love her, but he loved a pretty young slave girl. When Annie Palmer heard of this, she hated the slave girl. She was even more cruel to the slaves because she could not get what she wanted. Then the pretty slave girl got sick. Nobody knew what was wrong with her and nothing could make her better. The slaves believed that Annie Palmer had worked some magic to make the girl sick. There was an old slave who could work Obia, but not even he could do anything to help the girl. Soon she was dead. The slaves were even more afraid of Annie Palmer now. They asked the old slave to use his Obia to help them kill Annie Palmer. They made up their minds 
to put poison in her drink. But Annie Palmer took one look at her drink and knew that something was wrong. She soon found out that there was poison in it. The news spread across the plantation. We cannot kill her, the slaves said. Her power is stronger than Obia. That wicked devil will not stop till she finds out who tried to poison her. The slaves all over the plantation were afraid. They were afraid even to look at her as she rode by. Her long black hair blew in the wind and her dark eyes flashed a dangerous fire. Then one morning, Annie Palmer was found dead. She had not been poisoned. She had been strangled. Nobody knew who had strangled her. Some people believed that it was one of the men who was spending time with her. Others said she was strangled by the slaves and the old Obia man. Nobody ever found out. She was so wicked that people said she could not be buried in the churchyard. They had to bury her on Rose Hall Plantation. All this happened many years ago. Today, Rose Hall Great House is a beautiful place again. Many of the walls had fallen down because nobody was looking after it but the house has been rebuilt. It looks very much as it did when Annie Palmer lived there. Many of the things inside are just like the things people used in those days. Visitors can go and see it and hear the story of Annie Palmer. The end. So that was a little bit spookier than the stories I usually read here, but it's still a part of Jamaican history and culture. And uh, there is somebody out there who might like this story very much. So if you like it, hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe if you have not done so already. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. Bye.